Yeah, it's a pretty massive project I saw today. The solar panels span about 1400 acres. It's just northeast of town here. Platte River Power Authority says this will provide power to some other customers. Driving through Severance, it's hard to miss the town slogan. Well, it's like the sign says where the geese fly and the bulls cry. Tim Carter says it's a note to their history. We're famous for Rocky Mountain oysters back when even Bruce Ruth owned the bar and uh, goose hunting, goose hunting and oysters. Now there's something else drivers can't miss not far from town. Yeah, yeah, the solar farm, and that sounds like that's going to be pretty cool. 1,400 acres. That is uh, north. Severance Mayor Matt Freeze says phase one of the Sun Hollow projects underway. And currently are pulling energy from the panels as we speak. There were enough employees out there uh, building the solar farm that it, it looked to me like its own city. Platte River Power Authority says this is already providing power to homes in northern Colorado. In total, they'll power around 70,000 homes and businesses once phase two is done in 2026. But this project came about from a private solar company approaching private landowners. While things are changing in this part of northern Colorado. Yeah, literally 20 years ago there was like 80 of us. Tim says clean energy is a logical next step with all of Colorado Sun. Counter Global is actually the company behind this solar panel project. They are the ones that Platte River is purchasing that energy from. In Severance, Amanda Gilbert, 9 News. Counter Global is a European company. This is their first renewable energy project in the U.S.